When I finished school, I knew I wanted to be a journalist, work in TV. So I studied, which I think was really important. And I spent the next 10 to 15 years gradually building up my career. And at the peak of my career, I had my first baby. I was 34 weeks pregnant and I was reading the news on the Today Show when my waters broke. I didn't tell anyone my waters was broken. I knew that the minute I told my producers they would pull me off air. So I didn't tell anyone and continued to read the news for the next three hours. My baby came six weeks early, so I also had to deal with a sick baby and a baby that was in hospital for about a month before I brought her home. So in terms of all those fears, and then I had a baby that wasn't very well. It was a really tough time. Um, I'm the first to admit it. I, I was definitely worried. Um, I wanted, I was hoping that I'd still be able to enjoy my baby without having to worry about having a job when I got back. My first day back, I was sobbing in the car on the way to work. And I think that's totally natural. And I think we need to acknowledge that it is a really tough move to go back. And it was just chaos. And I had two young children, I couldn't get to work. So our solution was to divide the day. So I do the mornings because I work in the afternoons and evenings. So my husband gets up, goes to work, and I have the kids and I do the mornings and I feed them and I dress them and then he does the back end of the day. So we have divided and conquered. But you have children, your priorities change. So what a perfect opportunity to think about what you would really like to do and perhaps what would fit in with your children. And this might be the right time to upskill and look at a course or um, go back to uni or study something that you're more passionate about and it might be pro provide you with a job that is a, a better fit for you and your children. I think after children you can really tap into that intuition of what feels right and I think that's part of being a mum that you really start to get attuned to your, to your child or your children and just what feels right for you.